So now in this video, we have a uh, circuit I made a long time ago. I don't have this in digital form anymore. I just found uh, this uh, printout. But uh, we have a red LED here that is uh, pulsating. So the uh, main component uh, for this is basically the 555 timer there. I have it wired in a stable mode. We are not using the output of the 555 timer, which is pin 3. That's usually used to power stuff. Instead, we are just getting a signal from the 555 timer. So we have it wired in a stable mode with the diode there so that the capacitor charges and uh, discharges over and over again because pin 2 and pin 6 are sensing uh, the voltage of the capacitor. So basic a stable 555 timer stuff. And um, we're taking the voltage there and I didn't use dots where there's uh, connections. None of these uh, wires jump over each other. I know a lot of people hate when uh, you don't use dots, but I'm using the system where if they're connected, they are connected. If there's a little jump, then it would not be connected. But in any case, everything's connected if you see it touching. Now, we uh, are taking the voltage of the capacitor here, 10 microfarad uh, capacitor, which goes between one third down to one third and up to two thirds supply voltage. And uh, the non-inverting input right there of the op amp is looking at that voltage. We have this wired as a voltage follower. Um, so the output wants to be more like the voltage of the non-inverting input than the inverting input. When you give negative feedback right there, basically what it does is it makes the voltages the same. And um, then we have the uh, LED right there. So normally I have red LEDs. Uh, the output and then headed to ground through the red LED and its current limiting resistor of course. Here we have the LED coming from the positive supply so I swapped the positions there but you have to put the LED in the right way um, so you could just shuffle their positions there. It doesn't matter they're in series and uh, so the uh, LED the power source in relationship to the output is to the positive supply so when the LED is brightest that's actually when the output voltage is the lowest. And uh, so the uh, capacitor is, uh, first it's gonna charge, its voltage is gonna rise, the LED is gonna get uh, dimmer, because remember, we're transferring that voltage. But this is not taking current, it's just looking at the voltage, it would be really easy to throw this voltage off. So the capacitor voltage goes up, the LED dims, because that voltage is going up, and that's the highest point there, less voltage difference. And then uh, when the uh, capacitor uh, gets to two-thirds supply voltage, then it starts discharging through pin 7 right there. So its voltage goes down, bringing down the voltage. Uh, lower voltage there, since the higher voltage is there, that makes the LED brighter. Hopefully that makes sense. And since this is wired A-stable, it just keeps repeating. So now zooming on the schematics, we can see some more detail. So I have a 47K resistor, thanks to this diode, that sets the charging time for the capacitor up to a two-thirds supply voltage using 10 microfarad there. And then a 47 also used to set the, uh, oops, it would go that way, used to set the discharge time of the capacitor down to one-third supply voltage. Remember, it keeps bouncing back between the two of them thanks to these two inputs. Not gonna go into the detail. So if we wanted to make this take twice as long, I don't think you'd wanna make it shorter. Um, but then we could use a 100K resistor or and a 100K resistor there as well. It'd be uh, twice as long to charge and discharge. Or we could use a 22 microfarad uh, capacitor instead of this using the same value resistor. So you can keep shuffling that. Um, 220 ohm resistor protects the LED from five volts, especially since we're headed uh, to ground. When the output is low, when the LED is at its brightest, um, we'll actually fall short of uh, 5 volts anyways. Um, you know, maybe 150 would be just fine if you don't think the uh, red LED is uh, bright enough in this particular circuit. Because we're not actually getting to 0 volts here. There, there will never be a complete 5 volt uh, difference. I might uh, do a separate video with the oscilloscope measurements, but they tend to not do uh, too good. So, um, that's about it. The LM358 has two op amps in it. Just as a reminder, I kind of assume if you're watching this video, you already seen it. So yeah, I think the LED is uh, bright enough right there, um, but we could go 150 just fine. And uh, this is going, you know, but like somewhere about a volt and a half. It's one third of, uh, of five volts to about two, I mean not two, three and a half volts. It's bouncing between 
uh, that range uh, right there. It's not even getting to uh, 4 volts across here. Um, so yeah, we could easily go lower in resistance. Um, but in uh, any case, there is the uh, 47K resistor. And then the diode, of course, to charge. And then 40K resistor, 47K I mean, going to uh, pin 7 up there, the discharge pin. And then we're monitoring the voltage 6 and 2 right there. And uh, so this does not take current. So we don't need the output to provide uh, current. It's just looking at the voltage of whatever the uh, capacitor is there. Going to the non-inverting input, the plus, and then that's the inverting. As I said before, we have the output of the op amp, though, has to go to the inverting input in order to set the output to the same voltage that we have at the non-inverting input. The output uh, always wants to be like the uh, non-inverting input there. Um, and then uh, it's not always the same voltage, but it wants to keep these two the same voltage when there's negative feedback. Hopefully that makes sense. And then, uh, yeah, there's the LED. There you can see the resistor clearly coming from the positive supply right there. And my lamp side is bright as setting. So um, this LED, I think it looks uh, cooler the darker it is. Um, and also, I think this is about as fast as you'd want to go. Otherwise, it just kind of looks like a blinking light. I would, I would think it's been a while since I have made this. Maybe a little bit slower would be better. As I said before, you just simply use higher value uh, timing uh, resistors, one over the other, and the capacitor if you want to go slower. Lower values, of course, of one or the other, or even both maybe, if you want to go quicker. So, in any case, uh, that's it. Hope you enjoyed the circuit. Make sure you check out one of the other videos I'm posting on the screen, and check out the links down below. They all help out a lot. I'll see you in the next video.